everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats, and in this week's video we're talking about the top 10 things you should be thinking about before you buy an automatic litter box. So over the last couple of years I've tried a lot of automatic litter boxes. I've tried all of the most popular ones and a number of automatic litter boxes that most people probably have never heard of. And I've started to notice a trend, and that is that a lot of companies that are selling automatic litter boxes are putting out terrible products. Uh, they're making claims about those products that are just not really true. And a lot of people are wasting their money on uh, very, very expensive automatic litter boxes that are just going to deter their cats from using the litter box, not work, and ultimately cause them more frustration in the long run. So in this video, I'm hoping to reveal some of the sort of secrets of the world of automatic litter boxes, kind of peel back the cover a little bit on how I think about and evaluate automatic litter boxes, and again, hopefully uh, save you some money and time when looking for an automatic litter box. The first thing that I want you to be aware of when you're looking for an automatic litter box is that company reputation means a lot, and it's really the first thing you should be looking at when you're shopping for an automatic litter box. And the reason for this is that these companies can make so many claims about their products that are not necessarily true or kind of a distortion of the truth, and you're not going to find out what's wrong with the litter box until you've already bought it, unless, of course, you're reading uh, good reviews. Um, but with the amount of distortion that can go on, it's really important to uh, purchase from a reputable company. And so I'm looking uh, ideally for a company that's been around for a long time. It has a history of good engineering, so ideally they're going to have their own engineering team. They'll be able to manufacture their own products. And they have some degree of control over how these products are being made. Some companies like Litter Robot and Cat Genie, these people own their own manufacturing facilities. They're able to control every part of that manufacturing. They're able to send out replacement parts if you need them. They know what's going on. There are other companies out there that are purchasing generic automatic litter boxes from China, putting their logo on it, and then calling it their litter box. And it really is not something that they have engineered. It's not something they've invented. Um, it is a product that is probably being sold by multiple companies under multiple different brands. Um, one of the ways you can determine if a company is doing this is just by searching in automatic litter boxes on Alibaba. You can do it yourself, and you'll see that uh, there are a bunch of these products out there, and even you could purchase a lot of 500 units or whatever, get your logo on it, and start an automatic litter box company. So that's a good sign that the company is not going to be able to um, innovate uh, on this product. They're not going to be able to change the way it's made. They're going to be very detached from the manufacturing process, and that's not a good thing for an automatic litter box to be. I also find that litter boxes like this tend to be lower quality. Now, it is possible that there just happen to be look-alike products listed on Alibaba, uh, so if you're in doubt, it helps to contact the company and ask them where their products are manufactured, if you can see their manufacturing facility, if they, how many engineers they have on staff. Um, you can contact the company and get a feel for how that all works. The second point I want to mention is that customer reviews are really, really important. As I've mentioned again and again, automatic litter boxes uh, tend to be surrounded in pretty big claims. Um, often they'll claim to kill bacteria or they'll claim to um, be safer than the competition. And you really don't know if these things are true uh, unless you have something to substantiate them. So I would always look at customer reviews in order to determine if real people are actually getting these benefits out of the automatic litter box. Now, Another word of caution, it turns out that there's a surprising amount of kind of shady tactics um, going around in the whole world of automatic litter boxes. And I found that it's not unusual to find um, fake or paid reviews of these products. So in order to find good reviews, um, look for Amazon listings, uh, which tend to have more credible reviews. Use the fake spot extension on your browser, and this will check for signs of uh, deceptive patterns in those reviews, and that'll typically give you a more accurate picture of how 
people are experiencing these automatic litter boxes. So this is always a really important step when you're figuring out whether or not you want to buy um, this type of product. And then there's another thing to watch out for, which is shopping scams. So most likely because automatic litter boxes are one of the most expensive cat products out there, they tend to be affected by these shopping scams where you're scrolling through your Facebook feed and then suddenly you see an ad for, say, a $50 litter robot, right? This is a product that normally costs $500. Um, this is almost definitely definitely a scam and you're going to find that you don't receive the product, maybe you receive some sort of inferior or different product, um, it's not a good thing. So you always want to be very careful to make sure that you're purchasing from the correct company uh, and that you're not being bamboozled um, into you know wasting your money like that. And then the last point I want to make about choosing the right kind of company uh, is to look for uh, brands that offer a good warranty and a money back guarantee. So I would typically be looking for at least a 90 day money back guarantee and a one year warranty. Uh, automatic litter boxes tend to be divisive and they tend to have issues. Um, I can say that after using a lot of automatic litter boxes, um, a lot of the time it's very hard to know what you're going to get and things go wrong and you want to be able to get your money back. So look for a good money back guarantee and a good warranty. And Try, again, to look at those customer reviews and make sure that people are having a good experience with customer support. Uh, it's very, very important when making a purchase like this. So those are the main things I'm thinking about when considering the brand and the company that's putting out the automatic litter box, which is a really important part of this shopping process. But I'm also looking for, obviously, certain qualities uh, in those automatic litter boxes. So. These units will come in many different shapes and sizes. They work in a number of different ways, but there are certain qualities that consistently set a good automatic litter box apart from a bad one. The first thing I think about and look at when I'm evaluating a product before I'm purchasing it is cat friendliness. So you never want to get an automatic litter box that prioritizes your comfort over your cat's comfort to an extreme degree. Uh, what you're going to end up having is that your cat isn't going to want to use the automatic litter box and you're just going to have this thing sitting in your house and your cat doesn't use it at all. So I always want to look for a nice open opening. You don't want a tunnel that your cat has to squish through. Um, you want the uh, litter bed to be large enough that your cat can turn around and dig in it. And if you have a particularly sensitive cat, I would either not use an automatic litter box or um, think about using a nice open automatic litter box like the Scoop Free. Secondly, uh, it's essential that the litter box is not built with a lot of gaps, crevices, and openings uh, through which the litter can fall. Now, this is kind of hard to see when you're just evaluating a product online. Sometimes you really do have to have it in your house to uh, see this. Um, but a lot of the time, a bad automatic litter box is going to have kind of gaps in between the litter bed and the electrical components or other parts of the litter box, and this allows pieces of litter to fall through. Um, not only does this um, decrease the longevity of the litter box and lead to a greater risk of malfunctions, it also makes it way harder to clean. It makes it really messy and frustrating. So this is one of my biggest frustrations when I'm trying automatic litter boxes, that they're not properly sealed and uh, these different parts are not uh, kept separate. And then you're also going to want to check on the size of the waste drawer. Now, often the company will not list the size of the waste drawer on the site. It can be hard to find this, so you might have to contact them. But a small waste drawer with, say, a two liter capacity um, is likely going to last you for less than a week. And uh, for a product that's supposed to offer convenience, it's not great. Uh, so I would look for a five liter or higher capacity. Again, you're often just going to have to contact the company to find out how big that waste drawer is. The next thing to think about is also related to the waste drawer and that is that it should be kind of sealed off and it should slide in uh, on some sort of track rather than just being stuffed in there. Um, so I've seen a lot of automatic litter boxes that just have a waste drawer that's just just sitting there. There's no seal, there's no track. It's just hanging out there. So it has a tendency to fall out and then the odors are not kept in there securely. So you want some security around that waste drawer and you also want some odor control. So that's typically going to involve a carbon filter of some kind or any other sort of um, filtration system um, that is intended to neutralize odors. Look for that in that waste drawer. And then the last thing in terms of uh, 
performance uh, that you're going to want to look for in that automatic litter box is uh, that the rake or sifter or whatever uh, other mechanism is used to clean out the litter, um, ensure that it makes contact with the base of the litter box that it is able to scrape through everything. So I find that some automatic litter boxes just don't get through all of the litter in the litter bed and so they're just not able to scoop up all of that waste. Um, again, this can be kind of tricky to see uh, without using the product, but look through customer reviews, look through images, try to watch videos, and pay close attention to that feature. Make sure that it is able to make contact with all of the litter and doesn't um, have gaps on the side or on the bottom uh, where stuff could just stay in there. So if you can get all of those things right and the product is coming from a good company uh, with a strong reputation and the ability to engineer high quality products that just do what they're supposed to do, uh, you should have a good strong automatic litter box that's able to control odors, make your life easier, and which your cat will enjoy going into. But my last point is that even the best automatic litter box is uh, almost definitely not the best choice for your cat. Um, and that is because in almost every case, a cat is going to prefer a nice open litter pan over any kind of advanced automatic litter cleaning system. It can be the right choice in some cases, say you're really, really bad realistically with cleaning the litter box, you just can't do it, or say your cat already for whatever reason is comfortable in more confined spaces, or they're really confident with things that move every so often. In those cases, yeah, an automatic litter box could be a good choice, but um, especially for cats who uh, may be anxious, uh, an automatic litter box is, is realistically just not the best choice. And um, as you can see, often they're a lot more trouble than they're worth. So make sure you get a good one so that you're not bound for a lot of frustration. And then think carefully to make sure that it's appropriate for your needs and appropriate for your cat. So that's about it. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, again, I'll put links in the description so you can learn a bit more and get my uh, specific product recommendations uh, in this category. Um, but before I sign off, I want to make an announcement, which is that All About Cats has teamed up with Sally Banner and Dr. Jean Hoffey, who you might know from Little Big Cat, to publish our very first book. Um, and it is called The Art of Raising a Kitten. Um, the book is going to be live on Amazon on International Cat Day. Uh, which is August 8th and uh, in the meantime we're running a pre-order promotion so when you pre-order the ebook on Amazon um, five dollars will be donated to the Every Cat Health Foundation um, so this is an organization that donates to uh, feline health research and contributes to advancements in medical care for cats so if you would like to support all of our cats as well as that cause um, you can go ahead uh, and click the link in the description and purchase that uh, ebook uh, uh, through Amazon and again five dollars of that purchase will be donated to the Every Cat Health Foundation and then after that pre-order promotion is done uh, the proceeds will go back to All About Cats and help us to purchase more products for independent unbiased reviews um, and do more content like this so thank you so much for your support whether you buy the book or not um, I really appreciate uh, that you're here so thank you again and I hope to see you next week bye